Lavo and Arista have worked together to provide a unique media over IP control solution. Erling, can you tell us what we have here from Lavo? Okay, sure. So um, on the left hand side here, we have a, a Lavo label button panel, a traditional uh, broadcast control panel that broadcasters are used to operating a system with. Uh, in the middle, we have a VSM um, soft panel. So on the soft panel, you can see the four Lavo V-Line devices. We have V-Line Link Force and V-Matrix devices here. And then we have Arista equipment. So tell me, Nick, what are we seeing from, from Arista? So here we have an Arista Leaf Spine network. Um, it's an IP network um, that's providing services for both media and any other files or anything that you would use for traditional IP traffic. It's uh, time aware and it's also using the Arista Media Control service to provide bandwidth aware services for the Lavo VSM sole layer. Mm -hmm. So um, Lavo in cooperation with Arista have tied together our two product lines. So it's the VSM sole, which is the IP orchestrator together with your media control service, right? That's right. And so what the media control service provides is the bandwidth reservation, the topology services, all of the information that Lavo needs to make good decisions about inputs and outputs and allows the VSM software to do its magic. Okay, so what, what are we actually seeing on this, on this soft panel here? I see um, four V-Line devices, I see reservation, uh, current, current uh, transmission, current receive. Um, what's, what's, actually, what's actually happening here? So what's cool about VSM is that it actually can pull data from different sources. So what we're using is data from the Arista Network API, mm -hmm. from the Lavo V remote devices or the, the V class devices, um, as well as the actual network topology demonstrated here. So uh, we're actually seeing the reservation uh, of bandwidth based on all the flows that have been programmed by the VSM matrix. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the current utilization on the, the V class devices. And we're also seeing uh, your topology information where the devices are connected on the network. You'll see leaf, leaf, Spine. And you're also able to then visualize the bandwidth that's been reserved across all of the links in the topology on both the leaf and the spine. So what were to happen if I were to try to uh, provision another service, although there's not enough bandwidth uh, on your link? What, what happens I send a request into the media control service, and what, what, what happens at that point? So the media control service will evaluate the path with every flow. The VSM layer will actually provision a flow, including the bandwidth. If that bandwidth cannot be provisioned on the network, then the media control servers will error out and give VSM an alert that there's no more bandwidth available for that link. So if I try to make a connection and there's no more bandwidth, the operator seems to get a no, this is uh, unable to be uh, provisioned. But there, if there is enough bandwidth, I get an acknowledgement from you that the bandwidth has been reserved and set up and it's all okay? Correct. So if we're integrating both control and visualization for operators via the VSM control panel and interface. The IP uh, network uh, with the Arista switches can be controlled with a traditional broadcast control surface such as this uh, button panel uh, with absolute 100% quality of service. Absolutely. Uh, matter of fact, you can use this panel and program the network just like you would a traditional SDI matrix of inputs and outputs, mm -hmm. guaranteeing bandwidth across a leaf spine network.